We're here today at our client's house, which was a new build. It's a family of five. They already had a contractor, but after he was completed with his side of the project, Kelly and Glenn needed us to step in to help them with the interior finishes. They loved the location that they were in, so they didn't want to pick up the family and move them somewhere else. So they decided to stay here and build their dream home. The homeowner had a huge part in terms of directing the overall aesthetic of the space. There's a lot of vintage pieces in this home that we had restored and recovered, and then some new additions that helped kind of bring the whole space to life. When you enter the house, you're greeted with a large front foyer, and it's the formal entry where we did something fun with the flooring, which was a chevron pattern porcelain tile, and we actually mixed two different colors to create more of an interesting pattern. We also did wainscoting on the surrounding walls, as well as a blue grass cloth wallpaper, which really brought in some color and some luxurious texture to the space. At the front of the house is the sitting room, and the clients have a big interest in music. The posters on the wall are actually from concerts that the clients have been to themselves, so they had them framed. Her favorite color is blue. So we went all out with the blue, basically. <laughs> yeah, we went all out with the blue. We wanted to make it dark and dramatic and cozy. Some of the instruments as well are her father's, so it's a very sentimental room for them, but it has some pizzazz as well. We actually added an applied molding to create more detail to the walls. And again, that's more of a traditional application that you would see, but to make it a bit more modern and fun, we applied a darker blue tone on the walls to give that dramatic, more modern twist to the space. For the dining room, we wanted to create a statement room. We added some wallpaper, which was really dramatic. That was kind of the starting point. And from there, we wanted to add a little bit of color because it is a very graphic wallpaper, but it's only black and white. So again, we wanted to bring in the blue and we did that through the drapery as well as the upholstery for the dining chairs. Another detail that we added into the space was the round coffered ceiling, which mimics the round dining table that sits below it. And the last addition was the amazing brass light fixture. It's a great sculptural piece and actually helps center the space. The Servery and Butler's pantry is between the kitchen and the dining room, and it's really great when they're entertaining with large groups of family and friends, and if the pantry is too messy, then they just shut the door and it's out of sight, out of mind. So the starting point of this kitchen was actually the 60 inch long range. It came from France. The range is a showstopper, so we wanted to make sure that it was the main star of the kitchen and we had everything else work around it and was more of a supporting character in the space. We ended up doing a robin's egg blue instead of your typical white. It's a color that the client was drawn to because it had a little bit of a blue tint to it. And again, it created a more unique space than a typical white kitchen. We wanted to lighten that up with some more modern elements. The pendants above the island, for example, the stools at the kitchen counter, which are custom. All of those give it a little bit more of that transitional feel so it's not too traditional for the clients. Adjacent to that, we've created a breakfast nook, and it was really important for the clients that we had a banquet seating. The client originally wanted to have two closed spaces, one for the kitchen and one for the family room, and we talked them out of it because we know how much they like to entertain and how much the family likes to be around each other, that we offered another solution, which would be a knee wall with a factory-like window partition that is clear so that you can still see within the family room from the kitchen and vice versa. In the family room, we created two separate seating areas. So there's a larger area for the family and then there's a more cozy area by the windows that looks out onto the beautiful view. The fireplace was a main focal point in the family room as well. We used marble mixed with some brass and the brass detail that we added will add some nice patina over time. On either side of the fireplace, we also added some built-ins, which have a mix of open and closed storage. So space to tuck away the toys for the kids, and then also open shelving so that the clients can store a lot of their sentimental pieces that they've collected over time. We have a secondary seating area and that looks onto the view that they have from their backyard. It's more cozy, the adults can sit there, and they also have a telescope there, so late nights they can sit and gaze upon the stars. The mudroom is off to the side of the house and for continuity we continued the same tile that we used in the foyer. 
The garage leads into this mudroom and there's also access to the basement so it's a hard working area. There had to be proper storage and very functional. There's two powder rooms on the ground floor. One is for the kids, that's off of the mudroom, and then there's another one that's next to the front foyer, that's for guests. And that one is a bit more sophisticated and a bit more formal. We've done paneling on the walls, we've painted it in that dark blue color again to create more drama, and we have a beautiful granite floating vanity as well, which is quite beautiful. Beautiful so many times. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. We always get reminded when we work with clients like Kelly and Glenn because it was such a fun process. Seeing things from start to finish is super rewarding, especially when it's a project from the ground up. Seeing them now living in the space with the kids, enjoying the areas that we've created, it reminds us why we do what we do.